hi, and then savvy. People of God, uh, today I'm going to speak to you something about the rest of God. It's very important for us to know the rest of God. Many times people have a different concept about rest. Sometimes people have a uh, rest means just to sit on a chair. Many times you might be sitting on a chair, but you might not be resting. Many a times you might there might be a lot of problems in your life, but still you might be resting. The resting is not to sit in a chair and think you are a king and you are resting. Resting is something different. Uh, let me tell you from from God's perspective, what is rest? The word of God says uh, that God created everything in six days. The word of God says seven day God rested with all his works. You know why did God rest? Not because he was tired. Many people think God was tired so he rested. No. God rested because he finished his work. He rested because he finished his work. You know, I want to tell you something about uh, this rest. What God rested. He rested from all his work which he had finished. He created Adam on the sixth day. So Adam's first day should be a day of rest for him. So it's very important for us to know the rest of God. I want to tell you something very dynamic thing about rest. You know, if you check the Bible, if you check the book of Genesis, it says God created something and it says evening and the morning was the first day. Then God says evening and the morning was the second day. But when you come to the seventh day, there's no mention of the word evening and morning. If you go to the Bible and if you check, there's no mention of the word evening and the morning was the seventh day. But God rest is eternal. But God wants to give you a rest, He wants to give you an eternal rest forever. That was what's in God's mind. Maybe I do not know whether there was something eight days after that because the word of God never mentioned something that was evening and morning for a seventh day. Only for six days is mentioned there was evening and there was morning. Seventh day they are mentioned because it's God's rest, it's eternal rest. It's eternal, it's not mentioned in the Bible. Maybe, maybe I feel that, uh, I don't know if it's too true or not. Maybe I feel the moment that Adam sinned, from that day I think their days were counted. Before that, I think they were living in a life of super flow, super flow, flowing life and having a rest with God. I think they were living that life, I think so. Maybe I do not know whether, whether God is a thing. But, but the word of God does not say something about the seven days, morning and evening. The seventh day was the God's, the God's day of rest. God wanted us Adam and Eve to rest in his, in his finished work. God wants us to rest in his finished work. You know what is his finished work? Well, God wants us to rest in, his, in the finished work of Jesus Christ. When Jesus said it is finished, we have to rest in that thing. When Jesus said it is finished, everything is done. There is nothing which is left to be done. He has done everything. It is not in one thing what God wants us. What God, God has done undone for us. He has done everything. He has done everything. He said it is finished. Also, uh, let me uh, go much deeper into this word of God. The word of God says uh, that, uh, God, that God rested on the seventh day. And the word of God says, God bless this day. You know, your rest is always blessed. You know, many other people ask me this question. How to achieve the blessing? How to inherit the blessing of God? You know, the word of God says very clearly that God bless the rest. When you are rest, when you are resting in His presence, you will be always be blessed. Always the blessings will flow upon you. Always you will be in a blessing state only when you are dressed. When you are dressed, the blessings shall to just overflow you. It's, it's so simple when you are just rest in His presence. The blessings will shall to overflow in your life. There's no need for you to do something for God. There's no need for you to do works, works for God. God has done something for you. He wants just to be in His rest. He wants you to just be in His rest. Just rest in His presence. This is what God wants from us. He wants us to rest. No, if you, if you check it out, the life of Jesus Christ, many many miracles which are recorded in the Bible, but 